Now, the final aspect of being an engaged professional teacher is conducting your own research, being a teacher researcher. Um, and it's probably one of the most effective ways of improving your own practice. And there are a number of specific research techniques that have been developed by teachers to improve their own teaching practice. Now, the first of these is action research, where you identify an area that you need to improve upon or a challenge you're facing in, in your teaching, some aspect that isn't quite working, and you go through a formal process of identifying why it's not happening, researching the literature, conducting some sort of experimentation to explore what, how it might be improved, and going through a process called action research. That will then address that issue and improve your practice. Now, another aspect is called self-study research. This is where you essentially keep a reflective journal of your learning about something. So it may be learning a new teaching approach or a new educational technology, say a new programming language or robotics kit. And going through a very focused research-based way of reflecting upon your own learning processes and how you are engaged with this um, learning and reporting on that and looking at how that process can be improved. Of course, that's the nature of research, particularly in education, looking at how we can improve these processes so that you become a more effective learner and that can in turn make you a more effective teacher. And the final research approach is design-based research. This is in particular where we try to design an application or a new learning activity, um, something, something that we've actually gone through a design process. And it very much mirrors the design process we use in teaching digital technologies. And by researching that process and going through an iterative design approach and identifying how it's improved and where it needs further improvement and engaging with the research literature around the problem that we're focused on um, addressing with the design, that can then, again, make a better product in terms of, a, say, a learning resource or a lesson plan or um, activity with your students, but also helps us better understand ourselves as a learner, understands the concepts that are being taught through the application, and helps us model um, a better learning approach with our students. Of course, we're going through that design approach that we're teaching so often to our students. So being a teacher researcher has a number of other advantages that allow us to become more effective in our teaching by going through the various aspects that makes us a teacher. And again, with AI now challenging so many aspects of teaching, teachers are going to have to step up and be much more effective in our ability to adapt and to engage with the complexities of teaching and leadership in this space where AI may not be in the immediate future able to replicate. And we'll discuss this in the tutorial.